this is better than the MacBook Pro for sure, without a doubt. Even like the side, how it shines when it hits the light, that's beautiful. That's, can I say it, perfection? So the XPS 13 has arrived earlier than I expected and I was not expecting this packaging. We're just gonna go ahead and get into the unboxing experience. So without further ado, XPS. I have to say I really do like the packaging that uh, Dell is doing with their laptops. This is the first XPS I've ever bought. Um, I do use XPS 15 for work. It's a beast of a machine. So we're gonna go ahead and lift up the laptop out of the box and it is really, I like the form factor of the XPS 13. I like it a lot more than the 15 inch. Um, I might even say more than the MacBook Pro. Um, it smells, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell too good either. I would say it's a pass for me. Uh, some documentation. Uh, let's see, some of the cables that we get. Uh, this looks to be the power adapter, which is a USB Type-C. You guys can see this is a USB-C cable to charge a laptop, which is really nice. It's the power adapter. Uh, we also have a dongle, that's really nice. So we have a USB-C to a USB-A port, which is really nice by Dell. Um, thank you for adding this in. I think this is very overlooked. And then this is just the other side of the power adapter that needs to be plugged in. Um, also, if you take a look in the box right here, it says 100% recycled plastic, 25 from ocean bound sources. Um, that's pretty cool. That's really nice though. I, I like how you have that inside the box. Now let's go ahead and unravel this beauty. Wait, I'm doing this wrong. No, it's the right way. Oh, this is the wrong way. I'm supposed to do this. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I wish I had the XPS 13. That's my main work laptop. I love the size of 13 inches. And whoa. This is, this is beautiful. I said this in my 16 inch, but this is a beautiful machine. This is a really beautiful machine. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Just the slant design. I can't even touch it anymore. It's just, I'm not worthy to touch this laptop. I'm just kidding. So. Uh, let's look on the ports that we have on this machine. So on one side we have a Thunderbolt 3 port with the SD slot, which is really cool. And then we have a non another Thunderbolt 3 port with a headphone jack. As you guys can see on the side right here, it just slants down like the MacBook Air. And that's what I really like about the design of the MacBook Air, but especially this one. Um, looking over on the bottom now, we have vents on the side which can probably help with the speakers as well and then we have a huge vent down here to help with airflow and another huge vent in the back right here i'll show you guys on the overhead camera really nice design dell we finally have to open it up we have to open it up to see what we have and the bezels are what everyone is talking about in this machine trackpad it's i think it's bigger than the uh, previous generation so I'd say that's pretty big plus. Uh, let's go ahead and get this powered on. So it looks like the keyboard is relatively squished in compared to other laptops that I've seen, but the keys look pretty big. Um, the display, wow. Is this thing charged? This is like the perfect laptop, guys. This is like the perfect laptop, perfect size. Um, I probably will do a comparison video between the MacBook Pro 13 inch and this one. And just so you guys can see, so I just wanna show you guys how massive the 15 inch is. As you guys can see, I've been using it for a little bit. Uh, the trackpad is massive, which is what I love. There's a huge gap between the keyboard and the wrist rest, so it makes for a very nice typing experience. And as you can see, the bezels on the XPS now is so thin. There's so much screen to work with, which is what I really like about the Dell XPS, but I'm gonna go back over to the 13 inch. If we look at the 13 inch, this is the base model. It does, it, excuse me, um, it does have touchscreen, 
which is really nice. That's something that I wish was on my work laptop, but um, it's not like a must. It's a really more like a nice to have. It's not like I need to have um, a touch screen in order to do the work that I do. So another thing I want you guys to know is the keyboard. It's less clicky than the new Magic Keyboard. It feels a lot more mushy. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's using a scissor switch that Apple's using. Um, it definitely feels more muted and reserved when you're typing, but I want to say I kind of prefer this typing experience compared to the MacBook Pro. I've got to say, man, this display, the bezels, it's perfect. So right now I'm just setting up the facial recognition. Um, it does have Windows Hello, so you just have to stare into the screen to set it up. So looking at the overhead camera, as you can see, the trackpad on the MacBook Air is much bigger. So you can definitely have a lot more to work with. But I will say with the XPS 13, this trackpad is nice. Um, it does feel like the lower you are, the more it clicks. So that kind of sucks. It's like you're going off a diving board. Whereas on the MacBook Pro, you can pretty much click everywhere and you're getting the same amount of depth that's being touched. Well, not depth because it's the haptic feedback that's being triggered back into you. Um, also, as you can see, the keyboard is a little bit more spread out. The keys are more spaced out a little bit on the MacBook Pro. Whereas on the XPS 13, just looking at a quick glance, it does look like it's a little bit more squished in. Another thing I want you guys to know is that Apple has gone back to their inverted T design for the arrow keys. Whereas on the uh, XPS 13, and let me see if the 15 inch is like that as well, I'm pretty sure. So the 15 inch and the 13 inch XPS do have the full size left and right arrow keys. And as you can see, there's no speaker grills as well, but it does look like the width of the actual laptop on the XPS 13 is smaller than the MacBook Pro. So in terms of portability, I wanna give it over to the XPS 13. Another thing that's really nice about the XPS that I've already talked about are the ports. You have Thunderbolt 3 on either side. You're not stuck to just having two on one side like the MacBook Pro. But I'm talking about the MacBook Pro too much. This is an XPS video. But as you guys can see, look at this display. It is gorgeous. The bezels really do make this display uh, stand out. And the carbon fiber finish on the, what's it called? the chassis inside of the chassis am i allowed to say that um it's carbon fiber it's nice um in my experience with the 15 inch it does get a little bit uh i don't know it, it's like it's leaving some type of residue so i do clean it off every like week and a half two weeks just to make sure that the carbon fiber is still nice this is the i5 1035 g1 it has 16 gigabytes of ram ddr4 ram and i think i bought this for around $1,400. So the fact that you're able to get 10th gen processors inside a 13 inch, unlike the MacBook Pro, where you have to pay a minimum of 1700 if you use the education, 1800 regular price uh, to get that 10th gen Intel processor. So good on Dell for giving you the option to get i5 in at least $1,400. But the other nice thing about the XPS lineup, since it starts at that lower price point, you're able to add on features and uh, specs to your machine that will pretty much rival, or I would even say excel, the MacBook Pro. Just look at, I'm sorry, just, and the fact that it's touchscreen as well, a major plus. All cheaper than the $1,800 MacBook Pro. Um, but some people prefer Mac OS. Uh, it's, I'm, a, I'm indifferent, I don't really mind either or. Oh wow, what is this? I just typed in typing test on Bing and they have like a built-in typing test. So I'm just gonna do this real quick for a minute and let you guys know. Actually, do they have 30 seconds? Okay, 30 seconds. I'll be right back, guys. So, oops. really do like this keyboard more than the MacBook Pro, the Magic Keyboard. It feels more, like I said, reserved, and I like that. Um, as much as I am a, probably a slightly faster typer on the MacBook Pro, I prefer this one just because it's not as clicky and I don't 
like clicky keyboards. Um, another thing I forgot to show you guys, God, I'm just glossing over this so quick. Um, the touch, it also does have a fingerprint sensor, kind of like Touch ID where it's on the top right. So just to get in, you tap your finger here and you're able to get in. But like I said before, it does have Windows Hello. So if you just look into the screen, boom, you're in. So God, Windows Hello, Face ID needs to come to Mac. But God, I'm talking about Apple too much. This thin and light device is exceptional. <laughs> I am really impressed by Dell. Like, wow, this is a very beautiful machine and it's so light. I think it's lighter than my MacBook actually. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I wanna say that XPS is lighter than the MacBook Pro 13 inch. This one definitely has a little bit more heft to it, but um, I will be doing a comparison video in the upcoming weeks. Um, I kind of prefer, ever since I started using the 16 inch MacBook Pro, um, I have gotten over to the XPS 15, which as you guys can see, it's a beautiful display. We'll have a standalone review for both the XPS 13 and 15, and I'll have a comparison video between the MacBook Pro, because I think Dell is really trying to, I don't wanna say brute force, but just show the potential of what they, not potential either, what am I trying to say? Dell essentially is not afraid to show what the capabilities of their engineers are able to produce for consumers. And I just wanna say, I actually prefer this more than the last generation XPS 15. Like just the trackpad alone, the speakers, the display, it's just a much better computer. If you guys decide to buy a MacBook Pro, I would say at least go to dell.com and see what you can get for the equivalent of your money. You can get an i7, sometimes a dedicated processor inside the 15 inch. You can just get so much more value out of your money if you uh, decide to look for the XPS lineup. But I'm excited to see how these laptops do in my comparison videos and review. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, share it with your friends. And as always guys, much love. Oh, the machinery on this thing. Beautiful. Wow, this is, this is beautiful.